when we were teenagers, we used to sit on this tree, drinking cider and smoking on this very tree trunk. Hello, good morning. So I've got a few days off, which I am spending at my mum's in Sussex. And so far, the weather's not looking bad. I, um, I always start by going off to get provisions from the same place. Um, I do this every single week and uh, it's a joy. So um, there's a little farm shop that is so tiny, it's like a cabin and it sells the freshest produce. You all right, Matilda? Thank you. Gosh, all the drivers are so polite here in Sussex. Um, I come every single weekend. It's the farm shop um, that is in Calfold, a little village uh, near to where my mum lives. And I love it, it's tiny, it's like a little hut. One in and one out. Um, we were in the height of the lockdown, all queuing out here. Um, it only takes one at a time, but it sells all local produce. It's fantastic. Um, have a little look. love green gauges but this is what I love look at their carrots local spinach and then there's this wonderful little butchers which is all organic cherries so this is the wonderful woman I see every Saturday it even has my um, style of chocolate they have a uh, Montezuma's which is local actually I think it's Chichester it's Montezuma's Chichester. yeah There's... but you introduced me to have you got them here oh, yes now, anyone that listens to my radio show, we had, I'm just gonna show you these. These are pita chips that are made in Hackney. So I come all the way down to Sussex, try something that is actually produced in Hackney, and she came on my show after, yeah. I said, I'm, just, I'm buying your stuff in Cowfold, and she went, oh, we love finding out where it all goes. So she came in and she started that whole um, company from her front room. I didn't know that. Yep. Oh my goodness. She just, she and I think she and another student, they discovered if they baked pita and cut it up, you could use it as a snack. So she delivered to pubs first of all and then it went everywhere. Well, we do try and source quite a lot of, you know, mainly local companies, but things like that, they're so niche, not many people produce sort of no. pita chips like that. So yeah, she's really created something quite different. So you really do support all the do. smaller? All our wine is all local. We, we get it from Bolney and Auburn vineyard, you know, the vineyards, which is literally just up the road. So yeah, we do. And I've just got your strawberries. Strawberries. Strawberries and the tomatoes. And well. cherries. And cherries are literally from up the road. Amazing. They are amazing.
five o'clock in the morning. I love this time of morning. I love coming, oop, someone's awake. Um, I love coming out into the garden really early in the morning, but I had to show you that because I love cranes. I'm always filming cranes from my roof in Marylebone. Would you believe, right in the heart of Sussex, there is the obligatory crane overlooking us. But I love them. I think they look like um, great big birds in the sky. Anyway, it's very early. Reason I'm up this early is unfortunately, I have to go back to London just for a day to meet Philippe, my editor, because we are filming today in my old flat. It's a collaboration. I very seldom ever do collaborations, but it's with Next, and Next is a brand that I grew up with. And they've asked me to film a little piece for their uh, Instagram on the Next Beauty, which I never, I never really use Instagram. So this is gonna be a bit of a learning curve. Thank heavens Philippe will be there. Um, yeah, so I've got to drive on up to London um, and then I'll come straight back, which is rather nice. Oh God, this is lovely. It looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. Philippe. Hello. We've not actually seen each other for how long? When was the last time was it February I think, or March? I don't know, Philippe and I, we always meet in Liberty when we have tea mm. and stare at all the interesting people. And um, we're equally as interesting, we like to think. We have our business meetings there. Um, but we are filming today something for Next. So it's a collaboration, and I don't very seldom do collab collaborations, but Next is a brand I grew up with um, that I've worn their clothes for ages, and now they do a beauty site. So you can get all these different brands under one site. It's called Next Beauty, and I'll explain more later. But Philippe kindly has come masked up, and we are keeping a distance, aren't yes, we? Yes, yeah. And this, this whole flat, no one has lived in this flat for some time, so it's totally sanitised. There are no germs here whatsoever. You've sanitised your... I've sanitised my hands and I'm ready to help out. But not only that, he's brought me a gift yeah. from his fantastic <laughs> mum. Oh my goodness. Oh, and a card as well. Oh my gosh. This, his mother is the most glamorous mother. She could be my daughter, to be quite honest. Um, and she's very, very artistic. Well, the whole family's artistic. So, do you, do you mind holding yeah. it? But you'll have to sanitise your hands. Oh my gosh. Hang on a moment. Oh, I'm so bad at opening things. So I just unpeel this. Do yeah. I unpeel? Oh yes, uh, I see, I see, I see. Is there this a is thing at the top that you, you just take off? Oh, because I love this. Yeah, you can keep that as well. Oh my God. So this is like a red admiral butterfly, which are actually in my mum's garden. I absolutely love. Did she design that? No, it's oh. a collage. Oh, it's a collage? Yeah. Okay. Gosh, I, she's so generous. <laughs> Honestly. The reason Philippe is the way he is, is because of his mum <laughs> and, and also his dad and his stepdad, but his mum has brought you up beautifully, if you don't mind my saying so. I bet you cut that out, because you'll be editing this. So let's have a look. I have not had a gift for so long. Oh. I just... I hope you like it. So before we go any further, I'm moving back into this flat. Look at it, it needs stuff. That is not mine. It needs stuff on the walls. Oh, oh. Oh my, oh my. This is stunning. <laughs> This, this has made me actually really, really emotional. Do you oh. know what she's, it's made me really emotional because you know what she's done? Mm. She's put, you know what these are? Yes. Kookaburras. Right. Did you know that? So, so these are part of where I grew up. This is the love of my life, Matilda. This is from me being in Kenya. 
Butterflies mean life, they mean active. This I interpret as a dove of peace, but I'm not sure what your mum interprets that, but that is a very yogic thing. I bet she's going to love this, well, it, what it, you're it saying. Well, it is a dove of peace, that's what, you know, you whenever you see doves. But my manner is marrowbone, mm -hmm. and she's just, I don't know how she has done this. <laughs> this is marrowbone, yeah. and it's like, this is my, this is my manner. <laughs> I love it. She's so <laughs> clever. And I'm wearing my Stellas. I'm wearing my Stella McCartney's. She's got um, an Instagram account with her all her art. So just um, say, turn the camera on yourself and tell everyone the Instagram. Um, okay, and not so, you around. <laughs> so the Instagram, um, I'll put it here um, and you can find her art. It's her name. Um, and yeah. Philly, they say, somebody said on your... Yes. Um, they emailed you and said if you get to 1,000, uh, no, they said Joe should help you to get to 1,000. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, so my YouTube channel, I do songs every Friday, and like I talked to Joe about it, if I get to 1,000, I'll do a live Q&A, like she did when she got to 20,000. But, it, but I might get to 22,000 at the same time, so we'll do one we'll on do a Sunday one, morning, yeah. me, and then straight to you. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, can I just ask Philippe, so look, you know this flat, you know my flat upstairs, I'm so apprehensive moving here. I think it's nice though, I like it. When I, like I get rid of this furniture. <laughs> but I like it, I like the mirrors and I, I think it's really nice. Yeah. It's just I'm going backwards instead of forwards. Mm. So if I get a million, then I can buy somewhere that's bigger. So let's get to a million subscribers now. <laughs> so I don't live in one room, albeit Malibone. So we're begging, the two of us are begging. But how about a live with both Philippe and me the moment we hit the 22,000 and the 1,000 goals? So yes. You can, you can check my channel in the description. Oh God, he's so pushy. <laughs> Mutti, what do you think of this top? What do you think of this top? Oh, it's not bad at all. They're yeah, quite nice. You've got it all tucked wrong there in the front. No, it's, it's meant to be tucked like that. It's quite sort of um, peasanty and blouson, isn't it? Yeah, it's very nice, yeah. You don't seem that keen, to be honest. Well, no, I do not. I would say if I didn't like a thing, don't you worry. Anyway, it's from Next. Oh, Next? Yes. I didn't know Next was still going. Yes, Next is going. I yeah. have got one in Horsham. Yeah, then. actually they, yeah, they do have a Next in Horsham, which oh, is where I, I got this from. I Next clothes. Let's have a closer look now. Turn around and see the back. Yes, that's better. It's nice, you've still oh, got yes. some things from Next. Oh, I've got loads of Next clothes upstairs. So you approve of this then? Oh yeah, I like that. But you need to tuck that properly. See? No, but it's called a French tuck. It's yeah, but that bit, that should be tucked in under the other. Because it's making it all go like this, sticking like that sort of thing. Oh um, yeah, maybe I should actually. Yeah, it's got a good, well they've still got some good clothes in there. Yeah. That's very nice that. Yeah. So this is St. Leonard's Forest, very near to where my mum lives and I absolutely love walking here in the early evening. And the reason is, on my radio show, at the beginning of the pandemic, I had quite a few people coming on talking about, oh look at these lovely dogs. dogs when they when they lose a leg like that they just they just seem to cope don't they anyway look at this so as I was saying take these off this is St Leonard's Forest and um, I had quite a few people coming on my radio show talking about 
immunity, talking about health, talking about what nature does uh, for you at times of stress and, you know, when you're thinking, God, I need to keep myself fit, I need to keep myself healthy and boost my immune system. And two people came on and they were talking about, they weren't scientists, in fact, this probably is a scientific fact, I don't know, but both of them who worked with nature said, when you walk through a wood like this, it is one of the most health and life enhancing activities. Not running, not cycling, not, you know, running along the sea, water's edge, beach, whatever you want to call it. Walking through woodland. And this is one of the most beautiful woodlands that I know. Just look at this. This um, decking, I suppose it is, footpath, all made out of wood, runs for miles. When we were teenagers, we used to sit on this tree, drinking cider and smoking on this very tree trunk. This is where I'm gonna sit and end this week's vlog. I've got a little friend. Hello. <laughs> I don't know this dog at all, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, I love him. He's a staffy. <laughs> Let me just get this right. I'm hoping there isn't going to be a lot of wind to disrupt this. I'm going to end the vlog here in the middle of St. Leonard's Forest in Sussex. It's about half past eight at night. Um, what have I got to say? Well, isn't it interesting? I went back to London for one day and scurried back to Sussex. Now, maybe that's because it's beautiful sunshine. Maybe it's because my mum, you know, enjoys me being there and I like to keep an eye on her. So maybe that's it. Maybe it's just all pointing in the direction that I eventually want to get out of London. I keep thinking about it. I wouldn't live in Sussex, I don't think. I don't know where I'd live. But I love evenings like this. I don't miss not going to restaurants. For all my actor friends, at the moment I don't even miss going to the theatre. I know that is shocking and I probably will. I like walking through woods because I've been told it's doing my health good. I've been told that this holds all the answers, nature. And many of you by now will be going, oh my God, here we go, hippie chick. But I truly believe it. I, you know, when I walk through here, I honestly feel energized and just, I just feel good. I do when I walk along a beach as well. But I do believe, I mean, this tree, I have been sitting on this trunk. I sat on this trunk 50 years ago. Okay, in a very different state to how I am now. But it's grounding and it's rooted. Literally, it's rooted. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just feel, and I said to you last week, and so many of you commented last week and said, absolutely, I get where you're coming from. This whole chapter has taught me, well, it hasn't taught me anything. It has not taught me anything other than think things through, think what you want to do, where you want to be, how you want to earn your money, how you can earn your money, all of these things. So that's why I'm gonna leave it. Your comments mean so much to me because last week 
you know, you all said, not all of you at all, a lot of you said, yes, I am feeling different about my life. I'm only looking over my shoulder because I'm in a wood talking to a camera in an area where people do not do this sort of thing. If I was in Regent's Park, no one would bat an eyelid. Here, they'll think I'm completely deranged. Um, but lots of you last week said, yes, I feel like everything's been shaken up. Oh, here comes somebody. So I'm gonna say goodbye, goodbye. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, so if I get to 22,000, then I will do a YouTube live. And after mine, if he gets to 1,000, Philippe will do a YouTube live. So that will be next week's vlog will be a YouTube live uh, with me. And hopefully if Philippe gets to a thousand, him as well. I'll leave his link below. He's so pushy. Oh, he's not really, is he? So that's it. They've passed by. They avoided me. See you next week. Have a great week. Thank you for tuning back. I never take any of you for granted, I promise you. See you on Wednesday. Bye from me and this enormous tree.